So can you just walk us through what happened yesterday? Start with uh, getting the call and tell us what happened from there. Uh, we got a call yesterday um, regarding a baby not breathing. Um, obviously high priority call. Uh, we try to respond and leave. We try to respond as quickly as possible, as safely as possible. Um, when we got there, when we got to the house, uh, we noticed the baby wasn't breathing, was possibly choking on something. Um, my partner and I began to administer uh, first aid and um, began to give C uh, CPR. Um, we attempted to um, get a piece of food out of the child's mouth. It seemed that he was choking on and a short while later, medical aid arrived, uh, ambulance arrived, and they continued medical aid until he was transported to Memorial Hospital. Did you ever perform CPR before? Uh, I've had training on it, I've never performed it. So, uh, I swear on the force, that was the first time doing it? That was the first time, like, real, real life, yes sir. Is it what you expected it would be? I think it was more high intense, just because it's a child's life, and, I mean, it's basically a person's life in your hands, and just in the hopes that it helps them actually get through whatever it is they're going through, um, as far as choking or, you know, whatever medical condition they have. This is the first time for you as well? I've performed CPR on an adult before, but not on a child. How is it different from an adult to a well, It's a different technique they have to use. Um, it's, I, like I said, it's, I guess it's more sensitive in the fact that it's an infant that we're working on and um, so they haven't even began to live, you know? I imagine that they would feel rather fragile. Right. Compared to the adult. How do you go, I mean, is it, I don't know, is it, is it still chest compressions? How is, how is that different from the well, um, adult? It's not regular just chest compressions. I mean, uh, depending on how old the child is, we use either our fingers or our hand. Um, in this case, she was a tiny baby and we had to use one of our hands. Um, while holding her with the our, with our other hand, you know, and uh, uh, this case was just a team effort, you know, I did compressions, um, my partner helped out, you know, um, did uh, rescue breathing, and we got through it. Um, Do either one of you have to be parents? No. No. No? No. Okay. What did the baby choke on? Uh, it appeared a piece of food, we're unsure at this point, um, it's possibly a piece of ham or Vienna sausage. About how long were you there from when you arrived to when the ambulance arrived? I would say maybe three to five minutes. Uh, it's hard to say just with everything going on. Uh, I'd estimate possibly three to five minutes. It's time to speed up or slow down those three to five minutes. Seemed like it was 30 minutes. Yeah, seemed like a long time. <laughs> yeah. Was there a lot of other people in the room? Or was it, I mean, can you, if you're going to take us there, what are you hearing? Or is the child... We like got, when we got there, or? we got there, the door was open. And uh, uh, the 14-year-old uh, stepsister let us in. She directed us to where the baby was, which was in the hallway of the residence. Uh, when we got there, we saw um, the mother of the child on the floor with the baby, crying, hysterical, on the phone with 911. Um, we saw the baby was, his, her body was limp. We didn't see any, I didn't see any rises in her chest. Um, signifies she wasn't, she wasn't breathing. Um, it's just, a, it's kind of chaos and, you know, us being first responders, we have to trust in our training to kick in and, and react to the situation, which me and my partner did by grabbing the baby and administering first aid. You kind of have to set your personal feelings aside as well. I mean, it's a sad situation, first of all. So, um, just like my partner's all said, it just let your training kick in. In your initial assessment, you mentioned the no rise and fall of the chest. Right. Do you think that this baby was going to make it? Or were there some doubt in your mind as to whether they would live? In my mind, I, I try to stay positive and, and I just kept doing my job, hoping that the that the baby would come and do do our part until medical aid arrived and and they could take over the situation. At that point, you know, it's just hard to tell because being that we don't actually perform CPR very often, I mean, 
it's it's just hard to tell. Well, you guys are being considered local heroes. How does that feel? Um, it feels good. I mean, we, we always try to do the right thing and, and you know, serve our community in the proper way. Um, you know, and going to the call yesterday, I never thought that it was going to be this and we'd be here now with you guys. Um, we just try to do our job. Whether, whether it's going to be a big thing or a small thing, we always just try to do our job 100% the right way we can. So how do you think you'll remember this in, in a couple of years? And do, you ever, do you ever circle back to that family or anything like that? I mean, do you think you'll ever see this kid again? I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it's going to stick with us for a while. Um, I mean, we saved the baby's life, and, and it's, I mean, it's definitely going to be a memorable, memorable moment for us, and I mean, we're glad the baby was okay. Um, I'm sure that, that, that's, our, that's our area that we work, so I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll see the baby again and see that it's doing fine. Definitely rewarding, though, just to find out that she was actually lived through this situation. So. You know, a lot of times uh, when you're called to a scene, it's, it's uh, a scary situation, sometimes a frightful situation, sometimes. And, and, and oftentimes, the, the, the way it turns out is not nearly as good. So, you know, it must be nice to hang one in the wind column like this. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. So, when, you know, when you, when you go home to your families, what, what do you say after, after a day like that? You're definitely excited. Um, definitely excited that, that, that you could be a part of that. You could be a part of that, and and, and I mean, pretty much help help a, another human being live another day, and everybody can go home and, and talk to their families about it. And I mean, I know if it was my child, I would want the first responders to do as much as they can, and 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 work together to make sure my child lives another day. It's just. I just think it makes you feel grateful to live another day. I mean, she was very young. Uh, I mean, you never know what could have happened. She probably, I don't know. It's just terrifying. It's a really scary situation because we're. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all, we're we're humans, and you know, I have nieces and nephews that are young, and you know, you, you kind of just you see them in the in the baby, and you just try to do your best to to help out as much as you can. It's definitely a rewarding feeling. A lot of times, the news about law enforcement is bad news. Uh, you feel you feel a little bit better about uh, about yourselves as law law enforcement officers today, knowing that you're making the news for for doing something like this. Definitely, I'm definitely uh, thankful that I can, you know, people can see law enforcement in a positive light, and and uh, you know, some of the a, a, a good aspect of law enforcement was shown. Uh, yesterday. Is that fine? Do you guys want to add anything? For me personally, <laughs> just very rewarding experience. I mean, just to uh, perform CPR, just feel her pulse coming back and just never going to forget this experience. Yeah, just a, a, a memorable experience. Um, like I said, when we got there, the baby was limp, and when we handed him, her off to medical aid, we could feel a pulse. I could feel her starting to breathe again as I attempted to clear her airway. I could feel her biting on my finger and, and trying to, you know, suck away and suck, get that next breath. Um, it was just d d definitely a, uh, an intense moment, and and one that you're just never going to forget. So w was she crying at any point throughout? Or, I mean, it seemed like you were completely cut off and you got there. So it's, besides the pulse, you know, when did you realize, okay, she's going to make it? Well, we didn't know if she was going to make it or not. Um, so when we got there, she was limp. Um, my partner and I began to administer first aid. Um, as soon as we started to give her her uh, breaths, we felt a, a slight pulse come back. Um, and then uh, once I started to clear her airway with my finger, um, I could feel her biting and, and, su and attempting to, to take her next breath. Um, we, I, I didn't know, uh, we didn't know how, how long she had been 
if she was unconscious, if she wasn't breathing, how long before uh, we got there. Um, and then we, when the baby was transferred to Memorial Hospital, uh, one of our other deputies advised us over the radio that, that she was going to be in stable condition. What did you feel when you felt that bite from the baby? Uh, it was definitely a good feeling that she was responding. Um, you know, I was trying to get past it. She was biting pretty hard, but uh, it was it was it was an exciting feeling to to get a reaction from from a baby going from from a baby being lifeless almost to limp, nothing, no pulse, um, to to sucking for that next breath, to gasping for that next breath, biting on your finger. Um, it just it, it's exciting to. It's a, it's an intense moment. You, you want to keep going down that path of try to get her back to where she's supposed to be. Try to get her, her respiration back to where it's supposed to be. You can definitely tell she wanted to live. She Just, was fighting. Yeah. She was definitely oh, yeah. fighting. She was, she was fighting and uh, trying to get that next breath of air and you know biting through. You know and, and that's just definitely a good feeling. She was responding to our you know our first, first aid day. and. It just, thankfully, it all worked out. You guys from around here? Yes. Uh, yeah, we live in Vicksville. Oh, yeah. Did you, you from here? I grew up in Los Angeles. Okay. I grew up in Portland. In Portland? Yes. Anything else good? I'm good. You're good, good. Good job. You're going to take over this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brian.